What's up, Sins TV? So this is it. The one I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on. It's the second most popular question I ever get asked. Number one is, how do I make my dick bigger? Number two is, how do I get into porn? So today, I'm gonna talk about how to get into porn, should you get into porn, how I got into porn, and all that good stuff. So let's start. <laughs> Johnny, what's the most you've ever had to prepare for a character? Like for a character outside of all this stuff that you obviously had to prepare for a night before or whatever else. It's never really that serious. Sometimes, oh. <laughs> usually you don't even get a script until you're on set that day. You get a script? <laughs> and for me, I always just wanted to get through the script as fast as possible. Because yeah. I just want to get yeah. to the sex part. What? What? <laughs> I know, I know. I to memorize my lines so that way you can get done faster. It's so amazing that Bollywood movies and porn are shot in the same way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you do you decide like oh we do we do this position first then we go to this then we go to this then we go uh, to the this. choreography sometimes it depends on the company the director some companies like it really mapped out other ones will just let you have sex and they'll film it so it really just depends I feel like it's crazy that you guys are asking these questions when we all know that like this is the one career in which everyone is a method actor like, <laughs> <Yeah>. hey. <laughs> I was wondering if like when you were starting off, there must have been periods where you were like insecure about yourself, like because before you had made it. What are porn stars usually insecure about, uh, especially men? I would say, I mean, you're definitely worried about your performance day in and day out. Hmm. Because if you show up and your dick's not working, it's hmm. pretty embarrassing. Hmm. Hmm. So that's def you're definitely insecure about that. Has that ever happened? To you? I mean, sure, it happens Happens to everybody. Mm. You can work through it most of the time. Mm. I think there's been two days in my whole career where mm. I, well, I would I consider it a poor performance and wouldn't accept the paycheck. Mm. I was just like, I, oh, I wow. can't accept the paycheck for that. Scene. Oh, really? Yeah. Is this been two times in your entire career? Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. Dude, I had two times like yesterday. <laughs> 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 That's crazy, okay. Your looks, you know, your body. Mm. Because also, if you start reading the comments, it can get in your head. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I think yeah. For, for everybody, yeah, for YouTubers, yeah. you know, TikTokers. Yeah. Do adult stars, do they pay attention to the comments on like Pornhub? Like what people are saying, what feedback they're giving? I don't know about, so much about Pornhub. I don't think there's really any constructive comments. <laughs> <laughs> what constitutes for a constructive piece of advice? Well, I think when I used to shoot for browsers a lot, they would have a comment section on mm. browsers. Mm. And a lot of those comments, I felt they were kind of constructive. The producers know who they like to see in the scenes, mm. what they like to see, what they liked about the scene, what they didn't. Mm. And, you know, the producers, performers, whoever reading it could read that. And granted, it's just one person's opinion. <laughs> you could kind of get a, a set, you know, who liked the scene, who didn't by the comment. Mm. They had the power to hire guys or not hire guys. Because if enough people complained about the guy in the scene, mm. Brad would stop hiring them. If the ah. comments were all like, oh, I hate this guy, I hate this guy, this guy sucks, get rid of this guy. Yeah. Then, Mostly when you watch one, you hate the guy only. So, like... <laughs> <laughs> by the way, guys, just let you guys know if you guys leave enough comments then uh, we can speak to Kullu separately. <laughs> <laughs> so Sid we have discussed how today's world is a world of abundance. Yeah. Right? There's too much sugar and similarly there's, there's too much sex like everything is sexualized right. In India I know that for youngsters porn addiction is a it's it's a real thing right and for a lot of people they their first engagement with sex is through porn and then eventually when they have sex they realize that this is probably not what it is. So can you give us a glimpse of just how much work goes in to make that scene what it is and that, uh, you know, should people expect sex to be like what porn is? Absolutely not. <laughs> First of all, I totally agree that most young people are learning about sex from porn and that's definitely not the way, you know, mm. young people should be learning. Mm. But these days, I don't know about here, but in the US, kids aren't talked to about it. I don't know if they were in the past, but I, like my parents never gave me the sex, sex talk. Sex, yeah. 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 So you just, you learn it on your own. And now with the internet and porn, it's so readily available yeah. that the viewers are just getting, you know, you hate to say it, but younger and younger. Yeah. It's completely false what you see in porn scenes. Like, how do you last this long? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to ask it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little different for me because I love sex and the act of sex so for me i want to make it last as long as possible mm. because 
when I come, it's over. Mm, correct. And you know, you only get one, maybe yeah. two if you're lucky. Yeah. yeah. So. I just love the act of sex. So I want it to go on as long as possible for mm. my own benefit, for selfish reasons. Mm. So that's just the reason why I can last so long. And Johnny, but in the span of your career, like of course OnlyFans was like the one big disruption that happened. Anything else that you think of that's changed in the industry significantly over the last couple of decades? Well, I know when I first got in, the industry was just transitioning into basically internet scenes as opposed to DVD scenes. The internet, blew the industry up basically because now all of a sudden companies needed a scene a day three scenes a day mm. to, to put out whereas a dvd you only shot four or five scenes a month and then of course the introduction of hd cameras kind of changed everything too mm. that happened when i first was in i remember my first or second year on set they switched from standard definition to 720 hd and the girls were freaking out because they were like oh no now you can see everything vr porn is a new big thing right that's something i have been really diving into have you have you shot any vr porn johnny no i haven't shot vr Porn. It's very difficult for the guy because the guy just has to lay there basically like you're dead. You can't use your arms, you can't do anything. So you just yeah. lay there That's... and the girl has to do everything. Mm. It sounds like the dream to me, to be honest. You know? <laughs> <laughs> if you plan on working for someone else, for a company, a corporation, if that's your goal, if that's your dream in life, definitely don't pursue porn. And I'll tell you why, even if you do get into porn and are successful, and five years later, you decide you wanna quit, you wanna go on to a career, well, it's gonna be a lot harder to go on to that career from porn, basically because even though what we do is completely legal, everything is completely on the up and up, people still really look down on you. And if you try to pursue a job in the medical field or whatever, people are gonna find you, they're gonna figure out who you are, and that's definitely gonna negatively affect your job, your career, maybe even get you fired. Hear tons of stories of, you know, people in the business, girls get out of the business, go on to school, get a job, you know, working that job just fine. A year later, someone figures out who they are, finds them on the internet, and boom, they're terminated, they're fired. Boom, roasted.